Logical team has uncovered. This is a case bottle. Um, they typically held liquor. The team has found tobacco pipes, bowls, and old ammunition. The usual bullets and mini balls and um, we're even finding musket balls and lead shot. You can even see where the soldiers burned fires in their huts. You can hear that hard, almost slate-like tapping sound. That's because the walls and floor of this firebox got so hot that the soil burned. This is probably the most intact site that we've we found. A site that's now a history lesson for generations to come. We were looking to put some display cases in the front of the high school when we build it and display some of the artifacts that were found here. You can always learn something from what's left behind. Sarah Simmons, Fox 5 News. Pretty incredible stuff there. Stafford County Schools plans on bringing students to that site on class field trips. The news far from Mulford tonight. Brian Bolter and Sean Yancey up now with the News Edge at 6. This is Fox 5 News Edge at 6. The roaring crowd, the jubilant band, marking the end of a celebration forever in the history books. Pope Benedict XVI blessing more than 46,000 people inside Nationals Ballpark this morning. Tonight is on his way to meet with leaders of faiths from around the world. Let's take a live look right now outside the Pope John Paul II Cultural Center. Pope Benedict expected to arrive at any moment where he's going to meet with leaders from, leaders from various faiths. That's right. In fact, uh, he's expected to arrive there any minute. In fact, we understand just a short time ago, we showed you his Pope Mobile, uh, which left earlier the uh, Prisbilla University Center. It will be your last chance to get a look at uh, Pope John Paul, excuse me, at uh, Pope Benedict in the Pope Mobile as he's heading here to uh, the Pope John Paul II Cultural Center for an interreligious gathering that's expected to take place around 6.30 tonight. Let's take a live look right now. As you can see, the motorcade making its way from Catholic University, at least one end of the campus, over to Pope John Paul II Cultural Center. This, folks, is the last opportunity we're going to get to see Pope uh, Benedict XVI in the Pope Mobile here in Washington for who knows how long. It has been a long time since the Pope has stepped foot in Washington, D.C., and this is the last bit of uh, uh, traveling on our streets on his itinerary before he steps inside the Pope John Paul II Cultural Center for his meeting and then uh, pulls out of town tomorrow, headed up to New York City. The Pope began his day, busy one at that, here in Washington, of course, with this morning's Mass at Nationals Park. 47,000 people were there. They packed Nationals Park as Pope Benedict celebrated Mass. They listened to the Holy Father speak of the challenges facing American Catholics and promised to work with the victims of the church's sex abuse scandal. No words of mine could describe the pain and harm inflicted by such abuse. It is important 